because it looks like this possibly could become a hurricane a little later on today or maybe by this evening, but this is Iris. We're also looking at tropical depression number 12 that is waiting in the wings to the east of that system. That is heading toward the Windward Islands and a little cluster of convection here looks like uh, coming off the coast of Africa. Again, what we're most concerned with right now is tropical storm Iris and tropical depression number 12. Let's give you the latest now. The statistics on tropical storm Iris, it is 65 miles to the south southeast of Cabo Beata and it looks like winds are now 65 miles per hour. Again, some strengthening possible. We're looking at a west to northwest movement of this system at 16 miles per hour. The minimum central pressure at 998 millibars. Now we have really a pretty well-defined system here and again it looks like all the indications are this is gaining strength a lot of rains moving across Hispaniola and we have some warnings to talk about in fact a lot of hurricane warnings for portions of Hispaniola also the eastern southeastern parts of Cuba as well as hurricane warnings now in effect for Jamaica now the Cayman Islands at this point hurricane watches in effect as the system continues its push in that direction tropical storm warnings also in effect through parts of uh, the coast of the Dominican Republic well, here is the projected path of the system. It looks like as we get through the weekend in the first part of next week, we'll watch it heading toward the Yucatan Peninsula. And after that, it's anybody's guess. As Show you exactly what we have going on. And the first thing is Hurricane Iris. That is that uh, massive convection that you see right about in the middle of your screen right here. And it is trekking off to the west. Don't let that little southward drift fool you. That's just in the satellite picture. It's not moving to the south at all. It's moving west at 17 miles per hour. Winds are at 85 miles per hour. And the pressure is at 991 millibars. So taking a closer look at it, it looked maybe a little more organized earlier, but still a fair amount of convection here as it moves off to the west. So we are definitely watching this as a lot of hurricane watches and warnings are up here. Parts of the Dominican Republic back toward Jamaica, under entire island of Jamaica under hurricane warning, Cayman Islands as well as we move off to the west. So we will be watching this as it moves to the west. We're expecting it to take a westward track here and possibly on into the Yucatan Peninsula by late Monday, early Tuesday. 